On May the 1st, 1992, riots in Los Angeles, sparked off by the acquittal of four white policemen who'd beaten up a black motorist, gave America its worst taste of civil disturbance since the burning down of the black suburb of Watts in 1965. 4,000 National Guardsmen were called in to try to quell the rioters, and units of the U.S. Marines were on standby to deal with the situation if it got any worse. As it was, more than 50 people were to die on the streets of what's generally regarded as one of the richest cities in the world. But it also has some of the poorest districts in the United States, and that's where the trouble began. Thousands of people took advantage of the situation to loot shops, factories and stores on a massive scale. With the police force nowhere to be seen, anything was fair game. Some shopkeepers took the law into their own hands, firing at looters to protect their premises. Rioting wasn't confined to ethnic minorities, nor to Los Angeles itself. Within a week it was all over, but the legacy lived on in government commissions of inquiry, reports, court cases, and some deep soul-searching as to how it could have happened at all.